Chile, né? Tá aí. It's time for another chili taste test. The Ahi Charapita. Hmm? Multiple plants germinated and I just kept them together. As you can see, one, two, three plants and also a cute little runt right here in the middle growing in the shadow. These three fruits here were the first ones that formed and uh, unfortunately um, fruiting stalled for quite a while after that. I think this uh, had something to do with uh, a change in weather conditions because of uh, temperature drops and rises um, and I also changed the location of the plant which might have added uh, a certain stress factor and um, unfortunately I tried to uh, do my cross breeding for my uh, breeding program exactly in this time frame. Uh, I assumed okay fruiting has started so I can start my crossing attempts uh, but uh, unfortunately nothing came of it but um, now there are more fruits forming and I already started to do the crossing again here uh, marked with a bit of string for my uh, breeding program. Yes. In my opinion the Ahi Charapita is quite the beautiful variety with small fruits, which is a feature that I very like. I would prefer it to have the fruits not um, in single locations like this, but uh, more clustered together. But uh, then that's a small thing, a small nitpick. And uh, what's really important, I think, will be the taste and heat. And we will find out about that later. But you can see more fruits are forming. And flowers are very abundant right now. And this gave me the confidence to continue my breeding attempts. And I pollinated some flowers of this plant or this plants, it's, a, it's multiple plants in the pot, um, again with pollen from the Carolina Reaper chocolate. I have marked them with a bit of string, the locations of the cross-pollination. And I'm curious to see what will turn out of this breeding attempt. But first thing first, let's have a little taste. I think I'll take the first fruit right here. Now there was something of a hype about this chili variety, um, at least in my perception, and um, the headlines were something like the most expensive spice because this plant is uh, supposedly um, grown semi-wild or wild and uh, hand-picked and that's why it's so expensive. But um, anyway, after a short while it, it was uh, readily available as seed and now the hype has died down, but um, the plants are here and um, there are conflicting accounts about taste and heat, I think. Um, I've heard that they just taste like habanero, which uh, I would uh, disapprove of, and um, the heat is certainly not in the range of super hots, but I heard that they are com might be comparatively uh, mild for a chilense variety, but... Uh, Let's just uh, stop rambling and taste them. I'll just pick the first one that was ripe. And let's see. Yep, basically pea-sized. Now if this would be super hot, this would be excellent because I could snack on it without uh, burning my entire digestive system. But uh, I don't think it will be too hot. As you might know, this is the goal of my breeding program to produce a super hot fruit that is quite small. Now, in general, it's a bad idea to try hot chili peppers on an empty stomach. But um, I think it's so small, even if it were super hot, um, it would not be that bad because it's just a small, small amount. Okay, right away the smell is 
suspiciously like habanero. Yep, I think this will be habanero taste. Hmm, quite juicy. Surprisingly juicy. Yeah. It's a bit stinging, a stinging sensation, but the taste is not maybe a hint of habanero, but um, not too soapy as I always complain about with habaneros. And the heat is... it's present and it's um, not mild. No, 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 no. Not mild, but um, a very tolerable, very uh, tolerable, at least for me. And um, as I mentioned, I have an empty stomach and I can feel it now uh, reaching it and it's um, a slight burn but uh, nowhere near at uh, a super hot where I would have the feeling that I have to throw up uh, now. Slight afterburn in the mouth, but it's um, <coughs> already fading. And if I compare it back to the Karioka, this one had um, much more of a habanero taste, or as I would. Um, Referred um, ha, ba, ne, ro. Um, but this one, the taste is different. Different. Um, I think it, it's not fruity necessarily, but um, sweet, sweet and stingy. If stingy could be uh, <laughs> uh, considered a taste. No, it's, uh, I'm surprised. It's nice, nice. Uh, <clears throat> one of the comments on a recent video uh, complained about uh, that I never seem to like the chilies that I taste, uh, at least in the last few videos, but this one I like. Um, I can imagine snacking on them. And I was about to exclude this plant from the chili breeding program because of this uh, fruit stalling thing that I mentioned earlier, but um, no, you stay in the program. It will add to the smallness of fruits, which is a definite goal that I'm uh, trying to achieve, and it doesn't add any overly, uh, overly dominant habanero taste into the mix even less so than the Carioca, which was the original um, donor of small fruit size in the breeding program that I'm having right now. And, um, well, just uh, I will have another one. It's uh, nice. Again, juicy. The, the, the first time when you, when you bite out, <coughs> this one is... <coughs> this one is a bit hotter than the last one, and the juices just sprayed into the back of my throat. What was I going to say? Uh, yes, when you first bite down and the juices spray, it's um, again this stinging, sens stinging sensation. Oh, and this one, I'd say about twice as hot as the last one. And I think the, maybe Maybe they are not entirely ripe. Um, they were started to change color a few days ago, and then they um, had reached the orange color, and they just left them like that for a few days. Maybe it's um, a hint of the taste of green 
chili peppers that's um, also still into the mix yeah but this one is hotter than the last one or maybe it's just an additive effect but um, again all very pleasant hmm? but I think I better stop now as I mentioned uh, haven't eaten anything this uh, day so far except for these two little chili peppers and um, they are very small but um, I don't want to overdo it. I better eat something first before I continue. And there are no ripe ones left anyway. This one is just about to change color. But um, yeah, that's um, a pleasant development. Ha! Yum, 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 yum. Thanks for watching. Keep up severe.